Um, good morning, everybody. This is Busty Bombshell New York, a.k.a. Kimmy, or the other way around. Um, it's really not such a good morning here in Brooklyn. Um, I'm sure everybody around here has been watching the news. There was um, a Jewish boy, a little, he was religious um, in the community. He was found missing two days ago. Um, it was somebody within his community that they feel took him. He was murdered for no reason. He was found a few blocks from his home. It's very, very sad. It's very close to where I live. Um, my thoughts on this, I, I don't know. What, what is this world coming to? I mean, I say this all the time in my videos, you know, um, see something, say something. This was the first time he ever walked home from school by himself. I don't know how other people feel, but I feel very strongly that it was, you know, somebody that he knew. And the man probably said, come with me, knowing that he had the doctor's appointment with his mother, like, two, three blocks away. And he probably said, like, it's so hot out. Come with me. I'm going to take you to your mom. She told me you were walking. It was definitely an inside job. I'm not a detective. I know the whole innocent until you're proven guilty. But when you found half a body in a refrigerator and half a body on the sidewalk, uh uh uh, in my eyes, that's like, you know, death penalty. Not even death penalty would be too good. He should be tortured like these psychotic movies that we watch on, you know, online or whatever. I mean, anybody that would hurt an innocent child. I don't care if you're a racist. You know, what color you are, how you feel about the, this nationality, that nationality. You know, as adults, we all have problems. <laughs> but for anybody to hurt an innocent child, somebody that never even lived life, he was going to have his bar mitzvah in a few years. You know, become a man. This little boy had friends. You know, he was a child. He was the only child to his mother. My heart goes out to his mother and his family. All I know is that as a community, we need to come together. I mean, as a community, as a state, as a country, as a world, as a universe. I mean, I'm only one person. I only have a limited amount of views and resources. I can't. I mean, I, I, I can't go out looking for every child and feed every homeless person and, you know, donate clo I, clothes and animals. I mean, there's only so much one person can do, but I mean, it's what this world is coming to. It's out of control. I don't know if it's just getting more and more out of control or they're saying that, you know, nowadays it's not that it's getting more out of control. It's just that more people are willing to speak about their problems, like, being raped, being hurt. I mean, this is just, I don't know, I could, like I said, I go on and on. I just feel strongly about this. And being that I recently went through something that wasn't so kosher, we'll say. Um, this is just horrible. Twelve bodies of missing girls on Long Island. That was an inside job, too. This is an inside job, that's an inside job. People, the media is keeping us away from it. They don't want us to know the truth. And it's just sad because now a little innocent boy was hurt. Maybe they don't feel the same about those 12 dead bodies found in Long Island because of what those girls did for work. But it doesn't matter who you are. You know, everybody has a right to justice. And the people that did the crime need to do the time. And that's it. My heart goes out. Today's a very, you know, it's a very, very sad day for me to have been a third generation Brooklynite and to have to see something like this happen so close to home. Somewhere I go by, like, all the time when I'm home. It's like you turn the street right there and now the whole block's closed off because they found, a, you know, a dead body of a little boy. Please, everybody, I always say help somebody do something good. If you see something bad, please see something. Stop keeping your mouth shut. Maybe this could have been prevented. I don't know.
But it doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what nationality, whether you speak English or not. We all have eyes. We all have inception. We all, you know, we all feel things. I mean, just say something. It doesn't matter. Just get, you know, what you see out there. I don't know. I guess this has gone on. So, being what happened, please try to have a good day. Um, and that's really it.